What's up, YouTube? I am out in the garage today. I got uh, some pallets. Got to take apart. Got to try and get uh, this door pallet. Uh, let's see which way am I pointing. There, all the way up. Get that going uh, across. And, uh, yeah. I got to get the board stripped off the pallet yet. That's going to be fun. Usually some of them end up breaking. So I might go ahead and cut the ends off. And pull the center out. But I got this one right here. I can use some pallet, some wood off. Oh, excuse me, off of that. And I got this one here. Should be able to use most of that wood if it doesn't crack and everything when I try to pull it up. But eh, that's gonna be the project today, so let's get after it. Let's see how this this board's already cracked, so I didn't do that. Maybe this will go easy. Maybe. Normally when you try to pull up a lot of these boards, they crack because the wood's dry, but we've had rain and they've been sitting outside in the winter. Well, that one cracked. That's okay, I'll cut the end off of that. That'll be a short piece. I'll have to go through and denail all these boards also after I get done pulling them off. That one's cracking. I guess some of these are still a little dry. And I don't mean I don't mind some small cracks in the board, but as long as they're not running long way through, and if it's a good sized chunk that cracked, if it can be pressed down and nailed into the wall, I think that'll be good. these boards after I get them on the wall I'm just gonna sand them and I'm gonna put like a like a clear water seal on it but an indoor might put some linseed oil you know something nice on it
another short piece, I guess. I'm looking at my butt for it. Stop. It's not nice, you know. Well, what ass I have. Barn enough yet? Alright. I'll uh I'll catch back up with you guys here in a minute. Alright guys, uh got the top boards off. I managed to kick that off, so we're gonna see if I can do the same thing with this one. Huh? I guess I got to denail them. So I got boards stacked over here. Uh, as I'm looking at them, a lot of the nails pulled right out and they're still stuck on the board. So I'm going to go through, separate the ones we got to pull nails out of. Then once, uh, make sure all the nails are out, we'll go up there, measure, and I'll get the air gun, the air compressor hooked up, and we'll get these on the wall. But we'll go through and, uh, let's see, got a nail right there and a nail right there to pull. I've been, uh, I've had to pull a lot of nails out of boards out here in the garage and it's a task trying to keep them picked up so they don't end up getting them on motorcycle tires or lawnmower tires or get one stuck in your shoe stepped on a couple of pallet boards a few times as i was uh doing these before and they don't feel too good when you get poked in the bottom of the foot i'll tell you that much kind of chilly in here right now. I think it's like 45 degrees. I had the torpedo heater going, but it's so loud I wouldn't be able to record video. And I got this little kerosene heater, but I don't have any more fuel right now, and I'm broke. So it's going to be cold in the main part of the garage until Friday when I get paid. these boards done get some fucking work done now boys all right guys I got the first piece for the bottom down here cut I gotta get this nailed on and everything and measure out for the second piece down there get that cut and then Get a measurement what I need to come across and fill this in right here. Might use a different board besides this one, but it has to be about that width. Just to line up and with everything and keep the same look. So I'll go ahead and uh, use my nails right here as my spacers. That way I know I have clearance at the bottom. Yeah, 
that's good, that's a piece of metal. Alright. Help if I had my uh, nail gun plugged in. I can already tell I'm probably going to have to go down there and uh, get some air in the air tank. Turn the old compressor on. I'll tell you what though, with this drywall and this insulation up, it does make a, a difference in the sound here. Now, uh, the gap that's right here, I have to build all this out yet, so I'm not putting a uh, pout board going across here. There's going to be a piece of trim that's going to run up like this and kind of cover everything. And I'm doing mostly everything off of eye. I'm not really, uh, not really much of a measure guy when it comes to stuff like this because I think it takes the, the rustic look away from it. Everything's perfect and just spot on. It doesn't look rustic. It doesn't look old, you know, palette style. Everybody tries to jazz it up a little bit. Just... Leave it rustic. All right, guys. I got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six boards put on. Uh, I would put more on, but right here, that gap right there, I got to bring that out more. I don't have the wood to do that right now. So I'm going to have to wait because I got to move that hinge before I can run the pallet board across that right there. And I got to move that latch. I could run this going down this way more, but I have one more than board, so I might put that on right there. But I'll have to wait to do that until I get a couple more pallets ripped down and everything. I got to replace that window here in the next month or so. But I think that's going to be all for the update on the garage today. I might do a video on the drums here in a little bit. Might try to cover some songs or something. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. But thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good day. Great Saturday. Do good things. Love you guys. Peace. Old Man Weiss. I'm out.